Welcome to day two of pumpkin building, September 30th. All right, so I'm going to take my bowls out that I started last class. Um, I should have let them set out a little bit longer. They're a little bit soft still, too soft. And so I had to be real careful taking them apart there. Then I'm going to blow dry them just a little bit to get them leather hard. If you don't have a blow dryer, just let them set out for a little bit. Let them get a little firmer, maybe a couple hours. Uh, anyways, then I'm just going to scratch them up. Remember, this is called scoring from uh, Beginning 3D or if you had me in ceramics. This is, I'm just scratching it all up, using the fork, dipping it in the water, um, constantly scratching different directions, kind of like Velcro, make, getting emotional here. As you can see, you could also use a paper clip, a, uh, the popsicle stick, but it takes a little bit more time. The fork is the best tool. Then I'm just going to put them together, and I, I kind of pushed them together. It got a little emotional. Now I'm going to use the popsicle stick here and my sponge to scrape, scrape them together. I'm going to go different directions. I'm going to jump back to the sponge, scrape, sponge, scrape, sponge. I'm going to try to make this look as nice as I can, get it as smooth, bond that, that, those two cups together to make this one piece. Okay. T take your time here. Make this look good. You don't, you don't want to rush this part. You really want to make sure you, you made them bonded. And as you can see, I was kind of tweaking the shape right there. You can totally do that right now. Kind of pushing them, make it more of a rounded shape. Uh, as you can see, I'm just getting really emotional here though with the, uh, popsicle stick is using it as my scraper coming back with the sponge okay so now I'm gonna start creating my lines on the pumpkin I'm just using my finger you can use your thumb you can use your pointer finger and I'm just rolling my finger I'm not pushing into it. I'm just rolling it see I'll just ro roll it um, I'm just making dents where the lines are gonna be just like an orange slices apple slices I kind of think of it I'm gonna start at the top and go all the way to the bottom with this technique creating my lines look at that beautiful see all the way to the bottom all the way to the top I got my orange slices now I'm gonna make myself a little tool you don't have to do this but it'll make a lot easier and see I'm using my popsicle stick you could use a knife any type of knife just to kind of carve it to a sharp point as you can see I'll show you here boom now I got a, a homemade little tool that I can use to scrape out my lines and make them cleaner. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drag it. I'm not pull, trying to dig out any more clay. I don't want to cut through my my bolt, uh, pumpkin. I'm just lightly dragging it through, get rid of my fingernail mark, and then I'm gonna sponge, and then drag it again. Sponge, drag it through again until it, it looks perfect. You won't be able to tell I use my finger to make those. Now you're getting the shape of that pumpkin. I clean it up real well. I take my time sponging it, getting rid of all my little marks I don't want. And I'm almost there. Boom. Look at that bad biscuit. Beautiful. All right. So now with all your extra clay, I'm going to save that because I might use that for the stem or some other extra features on my pumpkin. So I'm going to bag that up so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to put my pumpkin back in the bag. And if you want, if it's really soft, leave it open for a little bit. Leave it, leave it open for like an hour, but don't forget. You know, you can leave it open just like this. And then later on, bag it up. So then next class, we'll pick up where we left off. Stay tuned.